Hey guys, what is up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a game on Scratch. I don't know what to call it. I just called it Space Escape, but it's where you have a rocket ship, spaceship, and there's a bunch of asteroids coming at you and you have to shoot them. So, I'll give you a demo of the game right here. So this is your spaceship. Press space to shoot. It's like really easy, but you can make it harder, and I'll show you how to do that. And yeah, so I'll teach you guys how to make it, and let's get right into it. So you want to open a new project, and there you go. So first of all, you want to click on your backdrop backdrops and scroll 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 until you find stars you want to click on stars and there you go you have a nice beautiful backdrop and go into your backdrops and delete backdrop one and then there's this sprite one you want to delete the sprite one then choose a sprite and in that search right here it says you just type in space just type in space and then it'll give you a rocket ship right here you want to click on it then you want to go to go to its costumes leave rocket ship a but delete everything else there so this is your rocket ship now you want to enter this code in here this is the code you need so once I click point and direction 90, and guys, be sure to, when you get the costume, be sure to turn it to the right. If, if you don't do this, then like, if you want it to go up, it's going to go like sideways and it's really messy. So yeah. And then you want to do, once I click point and direction 90, so yeah. Oh, and I made a mistake here. You want to, um, yeah, you want to make it go to the bottom of the screen, not the top. So, yeah, and you want to make it point in direction zero. There. So, yeah. And now, you want to make a variable. It's called move speed. And you want to set, first of all, Set the size of your spaceship, set it to 40, and now set move speed to how much, how much ever you want it. Later on, this is going to decide the speed of the rocks. So, I'm just going to do it, like, 2 for now. And now you want to do a forever if key up press, up arrow press, then you want to move 5 steps. So, what that does is if you press the up arrow key, it moves 5 steps up. And then you have, then you want to do if key right arrow press, turn right eight degrees. And you want to do the same with the left, except you want to turn it left eight degrees. Okay, so if you have that code, you want to make a new, you want to, yeah, you want to paint a new sprite. And then do a circle that's whatever color you want. Or, this is the bullet, so you could make it whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it a big cir a red circle there, and then you want to enter this code into it. So this is basically one I click hide, set size to twenty, and then forever if key space press. So that means if you press the space key, create a clone of myself. So if I take this out. Oh, no. Yeah. So, if I have this here, then as if you press key, space key, you can see it does nothing. And that is because it's hidden. But if you show it right here, ooh, if you show it, where's the show? There we go. If you show it, then what will happen? is you're creating a bunch of clones of it when you press the space key and if you move this as you can see that you have 
multiple of them. So that's the clone. And I, I can change it back to hide. There. Okay. Now, once you have this code in, you want to enter in this code. So, and if you were just wondering where I was getting all this code, I the previous game I made, the demo game, I just copied all the code from this and just pasting it into here because it's just a lot quicker and I can explain all the code to you guys. So you want to do when I start as a clone, when you start as a clone, you want to go to the rocket ship, point in direction of rocket ship, and this is like sort of confusing, not the code, but like how the block works. So you want to go to the sensing, scroll down, and there's a backdrop of stage thing. And then if you choose this, you're like, what? I can't find something for my, I can't find my very, I can't find my sprites. So you want to click on stage and then cl select rocket ship. And then it gives you a bunch more options like X position, Y position, direction. So you want to do direction. So now you have to point in di di the direction of the rocket ship. And now you want to show it. And forever, move six steps. If touching edge, delete this clone. And the delete this clone will uh, dis make the clone disappear for good. Yeah. So, if you test the game out, see, you have your spaceship, you can move around, and then you press the space key, and it fires. But, at the moment, it looks very, very, very weird. Because the bullets are being fired from the top. So, you want to go to this rocket ship. And we can fix this issue but by just one block. Yeah, one block. You want to take the rocket ship. And you want it to go to the front layer. So now, the rocket ship, well, it will look like that the rocket Rocket ship is shooting the bullets out of the front. Okay, so now, once you have that code, we have to, like, actually make the rocks that the rocket ship is going to shoot. So you want to choose a sprite, and then search up rocks. And then there's this rock. So you want to go to costumes, you can make it, you can leave it like this. Or you can take out the smaller rock, which I prefer to do. And now you want to drag, you want to put in this piece of code. One flag clicked, you want to hide it, then forever, wait one second, and create a clone of myself. So you want to clone this, just like we did for the bullet. And then, you want to do this. I know it's like all confusing because of these, but I'll explain it to you as we go. So once I click show, go to X and Y position, and you want to pick random, negative 240 to 240. And this is very confusing at the moment, so this is what I'm going to do to explain it to you guys. I'm going to remake the whole code. So go to, it doesn't matter what these are. And now you want to do 160, 160, so which means like, yeah, so you want to do 160, and then the negative 240 to the 240 is like all up here, so your rocket ship is going to be here, and all the asteroids are going to be coming in from here, and yeah, and I'm going to rename this bullet. There we go. So, once you have that piece you want of code, you want to set size to pick a random 20 to 100. Or you could, like, you know, mess around with this to, to your liking. And uh, point towards rocket ship. If on edge bounce, so that means if they're, like, touching the edge and they bounce. And forever move mouse speed steps. And this is where the mouse speed comes in. Mouse speed to 2, 
I set it to two, you can set it to whatever you want. And then change, and then you want to make a variable called score, and you want to change it by one if you're, if the, if it's touching the bullet, and then you want to delete the clone again. So, if we test the game out, there we go. We have our asteroids coming in, you can shoot them, and yeah. Oh, and you want to check the score variable so it shows up, and then double click it. So it's like, you know, it just looks cool. And then you want to go to the rocket ship and set score to zero. So it resets your score every time you play the game. And there you go. So that's basically it. But if you want to make it harder, you want to make the game harder to play, you could, you, you could, change the speed like change it to six and they start coming at you really quickly or you could or you could just you know wait 0 0.01 seconds and this is going to be the toughest game you could ever play see that is tough yeah so you could do that, and I'm gonna set it back to normal. To okay, and now we want to make a game over. So we want to paint a sprite, call it game over, make it ginormous, and I'm gonna make it red. You can make it whatever color you like. Game over. So, if touching bullet, no, well, if, so you want to go to the rocket ship, and you want to do if touching rocks, then broadcast, broadcast, where's the broadcast, broadcast, I found you, broadcast new, or game over. Now I want to go to the game over. When I receive game over, show and stop all. That means you stop the game. Stop all. And that's basically it. So one fly clicked hide. Or sh yeah, one fly clicked hide. And then when I receive game over, you want to show. There, and you want to go to zero zero. Go to zero zero. So, this is our full and final game. Oh no! See, it's game over as soon as I touch the asteroids. Die, asteroids! I don't like you. I am just going to. Yeah. There we go. And, like, if I do a tutorial series, I might, or if I do a tutorial, I actually might make a future video, like, adding on to the game, like, maybe a menu screen or a cool feature that you can add into the game. So, yeah, but, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my god. Bye, guys. Oh, it's that lag thing again. It's my computer is all laggy. Uh, cancel. Yeah, my computer's all laggy.